So we can all make mistakes when we create a purchase order. And of course, once you've created the PO, uh, you should have the ability to modify it before you decide to send it for the approval process. So of course, what we recommend is to set a button that when clicked will initiate and trigger the approval process so that the PO doesn't go until it's ready to be approved from your team. Now, once the PO is sent for approval, then it goes through the whole approval process. Okay, so in that case, I'm an administrator. This is a demo account, so I'm not going to do much here. But let's say you wanted to build this or receive it or print the labels, but you unfortunately clicked on close. Okay, so you close the PO. Now, maybe you actually already sent the PO to the supplier and it's a bit, uh, well, it's not going to reflect really good on your company that you call them back and ask them to replace the PO with another PO number. Now, if the PO here, let's say you didn't want to close it and you want to open it uh, again, there's no button to say open here. So some people will say, well, just make a copy of it. But if you make a copy, then the PO number will be, uh, for example, 1626 instead of 1625. So it's going to increment by one. And in case you realize your mistake uh, when it's too late, you know, you already sent the PO and you, you wanted to bill it or receive it, but you clicked on close for some reason, then you will see at the line level here, there's a closed yes. Okay, so the way to open a PO is to click on edit. And then once you click on edit, you go to your line level. And at the line level, you scroll to the right and within the close, you untick it. Click on OK. You scroll back up and you save it. Once you close the PO, the status will be fully built, even though it's not been built, it's been closed. Uh, but uh, once you edit the PO and you remove the closed from the line, then you save it. You will see that now it's pending receipt. So it's open again for receipt or bill, for example. Okay, so that's all for today. I hope this video was helpful to you. If so, don't forget to leave a like or subscribe. Thank you and see you on the next NetSuite Tips video.